Hi, Craig. Where are we off to, buddy? Um, the Marlborough Sounds. The beautiful Marlborough Sounds. Well, it walks easy. Then you don't have to ring it up. Just write it down and we'll pay for it when we get back. Uh, we are heading down to Kinaparu once again for a fish. Early on in the season, but Tasman Bay is horrific with stormy weather. Uh, it's blowing about 20 knots now here in Nelson. So we are joining forces with Kurt and Craig, and we're going to head down in two boats to Kinaparu. I've got on board with me young Kowie. Remember, Colin. Hi, Colin. So we're just at the Big Blue, and we're going to grab uh, some bait and burley and bits and pieces. Uh, for the trip, let's get into it. Guys, so we've made it back down to Kina Peru in uh, Havelock at the moment. We're going to launch here. Uh, Craig and Kurt are following us in their Osprey and head out for a, a snapper fish into Kina Peru. It's pretty windy at the moment, but the Nelson's just hopeless for a fish, so this is our only option if we want to have a fish is to come down here. I think we might be a bit early in the season, but uh, we'll give it a shot. We've launched on a very low tide at Kinaparu. Uh, we're slowly making our way out into uh, the Pora Sound. And that wind has died up up through here, didn't it, Coey? Yeah, yeah. Good. Talking to a guy at the wharf back there, he reckoned a few of his mates or had posted pictures of good snapper up here in Kinaparu, so uh, we'll give it a go. See how we get on. So we've just arrived at our first fishing spot. Cohen is going to go for some fresh uh, live baits or mackies. He is using, what do you got on? Black Magic Sabiki. Yep. So he's going to try and get some fresh bait or some liveies. But I think we might have just drifted off the spot a bit. Yeah, we might have to go back up. I'll have a go there anyway. Should I drop? I'm coming into them now, dude. I'll, yeah. heat up a, I'll heat up a bit and we'll drift back along this muscle farm. Actually, that current's pretty strong. I'll do a Yui dude and back in because I think that wind and tide is going to hold us that way. Yeah, drop there, bro. What are you talking about? When did you get that one? This? Yeah. From the big blue. No. Ah! Oh, oh, yes! A oh, classic Barty. Cohen managed to secure a live bait well full of fresh mackerel. Uh, so we're going to try now and head up to our main fishing spot for a snapper. The Norwest is meant to kick in, uh, but hopefully it will stay away, but we'll just see how we get on. I'm going to show you how I uh, rig up pilchards on my uh, flasher rigs or the Black Magic. This is the Black Magic new Aparo Super Lumo. So they've just brought this out. This is pretty cool. It's actually been working real well in Tasman Bay, but I'm going to show you how I rig them up. So, first of all, I'll get a uh, pilly and I like to chop it on a bit of an angle like so. So, I'll do two of them. And then, what I do is run the hook down through the head and out the mouth. And that's one. 
and the second one exactly the same thing and that's it So as predicted, the nor'westers kicked in. Uh, it's now wind against tide, so we're going to try and head up Kinaparu and try and find a calm shelter spot we can fish for the evening into and overnight. What do you got, bro? You're gonna have to go, yeah. You might have to go up front, mate. Yeah. I think he's going for the anchor, mate. You want me to bring it up? Yeah. It's coming. Alright. Really quick. Ah! Oh, the building pot. Oh, I'm around it. Real? No. no. You go back to the front again, mate. Really hot. Hold on. Are you on? Oh, we. Uh oh. Am I around you? Keep going. You're all right. No. no. Oh. Shark or snapper? Oh, I wouldn't say snapper. Oh, real? Yeah. Luckily, I let him run, so I think he probably cleared the other roots. Pull those rods in too, bro. Just get them out of the way. That's that snapper eh? Look at that. Mm. You coming at the boat? You better get out of here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah. Absolutely not. Holy shit! Whoa! Got drag on it.
can feel a rubbing. Son of a bitch, those lines are a nightmare. Have a deal about it. Yeah. How's it not busted off already? I don't know. It's really covered in muscles and stuff. He must have gone under it, did he? Just like straight up towards it, wasn't he? Big snap, dude! Big snap! Big snap! You got a camera? Oh, f***ing donkey! Holy shit! Yeah! 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 Oh, f*** yeah! Woo! Oh, donkey! F***ing donkey! So we're losing snappers. This snapper we're losing. They're not small snapper. You there, buddy, coming? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I just got a 20 pounder, dude. Yeah. Yeah, shit, you're not. Snappers that we've been losing. Because we thought that was a shark, didn't we? Yeah. 22. 22.9. Oh. oh, that's a good fish. Super, super happy with that. We've dropped quite a few fish. Um, we thought they were big sharks because they were busting us off into the muscle lines and we just thought this was another big shark because it just fought like a mother and it happened to be a mega snapper uh, and 22.9 pounds uh, we just spent 15 minutes trying to put the bloody thing back but that fight it was uh, caught around the muscle lines and somehow I managed to land it I don't know but have a look at that for a great snapper and that was caught with the Black Magic KL Strayline rig. So thank you, Black Magic, once again. That's the Black Magic rig there. Two KL 5 bar O's and a little Lumo bead. And I think it's 60 pound supple leader on that. But that did the job with a whole Strayline pilly. Awesome. Me and Cohen are very happy about that. Drop him. Oh, real? Shark. How do I keep taking that? That was more snapper run. Not really sharky run. Okay, guys, so we've caught a good snapper this evening. The wind's been terrible. 
uh, we just lifted anchor and uh, drifted into the mussel farm and was banging against the mussel farm. So now we've decided to head up the top of Hennepero and hopefully the wind will hold away. But at the moment, it's pretty good up here in the cove. So we're going to go up to another spot now and we'll probably radio. The other guys have stayed there and tied up for the mussel farm, but it's pretty windy up there. So we are going to head up the top of Kinaparu and fish all night. Uh, but that snapper was awesome, it was 22.9 pounds. Uh, we did drop a couple of others. It was classic because I was actually filming Look at this. the Stella reel, doing some um, you know, like extra shots with the vlog, when the snapper actually smashed the reel and peeled out some line. Uh, we had a bit of a debacle tonight, that wind's been terrible. So we're going to head up to this other spot and see how we get on. Right, it's just uh, rolled around 12 o'clock at night. We've driven right up the head of Kinaparu and it was windy, a westerly. Yeah, westerly up there and it was horrible. So we've now moved in midway up Kinaparu, up on the, I guess, the western side of Kinaparu out of the wind but the tide is humming here i mean it's cranking I, how many knots do you reckon it is co the burly pot's on a 45 degree angle cohen's saying three to four knots i've just found a hole in my pants it's never good when you've got a hole in your pants but the tide is cranking i'll try and get some video footage for you lines are out it's a mill pond here anyway in the middle of Kinaparu. we're rigging and we're going to fish all night and it's currently 12 p.m. We're listening to Brian FM. If you're in Camp Peru, Brian FM, and it is on channel 100 and something anyway, FM. But Brian FM is pretty cool. And we're going to try and see if we can't get a snapper overnight. But this tide's pretty strong. Whoa. Good cast, champ. Is that a fresh Mackie? currently 5.48 in the morning. We last saw about 3am. Uh, got a couple of sharks and uh, then we crashed out for the night. Uh, it has died down and it is a southwester this morning. Light breeze, probably three knots. We're going to head up to another spot we tried to fish last night and have a go there. It is a nice morning. We're going to go and have a go and see if we can't find some Snapper. fish and we are currently now well Colin's currently cooking me a bacon delicious breakfast five star you did all the hard work to catch him mate you use all the fresh Mackie Coming up in the distance, what do we got? Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Big snappy. Bird anchor. Getting him now, Koe. Is it a ray? Oh, it might be a huge ray. Oh, it's mega. Well, that was an exciting start. And then a dramatic let down. We'll set this fella free and carry on snapper fishing. So if you can see over there, Kurt is currently hooked up to a very large seven gill shark. 
and it has now gone round his anchor and he's battling it well at the front of the boat. Anchor's coming up. Will he lose the rod? He's doing pretty good. Oh, what a, oh, nightmare. Let me bust his rod off. I hear ya. All right, we'll see you there. Okay, so it is now currently nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, very uneventful morning. Not a single fish, had a few runs few bust offs. Uh, the wind now is changing nor'wester so we're probably going to call it quits very soon because the boat is swinging and uh, make that the uh, end of the trip. Hey Co. Yep. Pretty good, a bit of wind and stuff last night made it a bit hard but we went to a new spot and managed to pick up that one good snapper uh, which we're pretty stoked about. Uh, yeah so nothing much exciting today. Long night, up till three, but I think we will call that the end. So we'll see you on the next vlog. Okay, uh, one tip I'll give you is uh, make sure you pull up your pearly pot before you decide to start driving along. Fatal uh, mistake. Luckily uh, my co-pilot has uh, uh, noticed that. <laughs>